The tourism board in Gambia has a stark warning for British tourists. The West African country says British women should stop coming to the country looking for flings with younger men. That's a euphemism. Uh, the director of the tourism board there has suggested he wants to send what he calls promiscuous pensioners packing as the country wants to attract uh, what, what were described as quality tourists who come to enjoy the culture instead of sex. Well, sex tourism took hold there after the launch of budget package tours in the 1990s with reports of young Gambian beach boys often seen assisting older female tourists, uh, some old enough to be uh, their grandmothers. Uh, journalist, writer and commentator Caroline Farrow joins me now. Hi to you, Caroline. Um, it's very rare that I read an introduction to a story which feels like no other story I've ever introduced before on the, the telly. Uh, this is one of those stories. Uh, uh, and, and on one level, that's good, because you want to be made to think about the news in, in new ways. Um, a, first, a first reaction to this is that, of course, men have been travelling abroad for, for tourism for decades, if not longer. Um, what do we make of this? What do we make of what the Gambians are saying about this? Well, in many ways, I feel a little bit uncomfortable because, um, you know, it's up to Gambia how what laws uh, they want to set. And obviously they want to clean up their tourist industry. Um, I think I read somewhere that tour sex tourism accounts for 20 percent of their GDP. And it's very easy for us to kind of titter and giggle at the idea of older women going to um, have affairs with uh, younger Gambian men. You know, it, it's not seen as as, as quite so uh, taboo or exploitative, but it is because if you're having to basically induce somebody uh, to have sex with you because they wouldn't do so otherwise, it is a form of exploitation. And older women having sex with younger men is only one side, is only one element uh, to uh, sex industry or sex tourist industry. So we also are seeing reports in Gambia of younger and younger children Children, including you know girls as young as eight are uh, becoming recruited into this trade and when you have a, a sex trade um, it it doesn't help the country to lift itself out of poverty. It, it just sort of increases you know the poverty trap and, and it says something to a society of a society if the only way that people can better themselves is by selling themselves uh, for sex. So I think Gambia has an awful lot to offer. It's got uh, chimpanzee reserves. It's got wildlife, uh, and apparently incredible species of, of birds. Um, although I'm widely travelled, it's not a country I've been to. And I think good for them, actually. I mean, Africa is a socially conservative uh, continent. So, um, you know, it is... In an age where we're all so sensitive about colonialism, then we shouldn't be going over there, over there and tempt attempting to impose our, our liberal progressive sexual values onto what is a, a, a very socially conservative um, country. I'm, I'm just, it, I feel like I'm tiptoeing through a moral uh, minefield here, Caroline. Do let me know if, 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 if anything goes bang. <laughs> um, I just, how, how does it differ? I'm sorry, I'm trying to think it through. How does, this, does what you've described differ, say, for instance, from groups, very large groups, of young male and female Brits going to a part of the world which is socially conservative and, and being promiscuous? I mean, they are taking with them a set of mor a moral a moral code which is uh, you know doesn't sit comfortably with that of the country which they're visiting uh, how does that differ from from what's happening in the gambia well, of course, when uh, groups of, of young men and women, sexually promiscuous young men and young women, go to these uh, conservative countries, they often do find themselves a cropper. You know, we're always reading about stories, particularly in, in the Middle East. And it's a reminder to everybody that when you visit uh, another country, it's a privilege and you ought to respect the, the traditions and culture of the country uh, that you're visiting. But the difference is here, basically, uh, women and men, anybody going abroad to try and coerce somebody into having sex to try and pay them for sex um that's exploitative uh, and, and shouldn't happen um you know i think it's a different kind of morality and you know the same applies in, in an age of uh, female equality let's hold women and men uh to the mm. accountable to the same standards so just as it's not okay for men to go over to thailand i know that's a very common country uh, to procure uh younger children uh, for sex um just as it's not okay for men to go to wherever to, to procure young women for sex and to pay them. The same uh, standard applies to women.